Hey, Christian, um, Sterling just said you look great at practice today. Just how close are you to being able to play in games? Uh, real close. I'm right there, and um, um, I'll be back soon to help my team win games. Uh, they have you as doubtful tomorrow. Um, is that out? Is there, is there a chance or could, could... Uh, there's a there's a chance. I just have to see how I feel tomorrow when we do shoot around and um, when we don't warm up through, through the game. So I'll just have to check on it tomorrow. If I'm good to go, then uh, I'll tell coach and I'll be ready to play. Christo Saltis. Hello, Christian. How are you? I'm good. Uh, great. I would like to ask you how badly you want to, to return on the court to play ball again. And also, as you, you show the games from the bench, what this team needs to be back on the winning road? Um, I want to be back real bad. That's to answer your, your, your first question. Um, I hate I hate watching my teams, uh, my team lose games and I have no control over it. I hate I hate that feeling. And, um, you know, I just got to do everything possible to try and help my team win games, like I said before, which is bringing energy, bringing my ability to shoot and put the ball on the floor and pick and roll and pick and pop. And I feel like that was a kind of an area of the team where we've been missing. Kelly Eco. Hey, Christian, just during this time you've been away from the game, have you been able to study film or anything to see how things slow down in the half court or how you can impact the game upon your return? Oh, for sure. I've been watching a bunch uh, just because, you know, we've been losing a lot of games. So I just wanted to see where the areas where, you know, my team can get better and where we can get better as, as a group. And uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things we need to work on. But I think with me coming back, it's going to it's going to help. It's not going to fix everything, but I think it's going to be a big factor in helping this team going forward. Brian Bearfield. Christian, what have your battles been like with uh, KJ in practice? And from an uh, equipment standpoint, did they make you change anything as far as equipment is concerned, as far as like your shoes or your ankle braces or things like that? Um, they, the staff, the medical staff has told me, put an input on the kind of shoes that I wear. I've, I've switched to um, high tops. So I'm going to see how a few games of wearing high tops are going to go. And um, KJ looks good. Um, he's athletic. Um, he's starting to shoot the ball better. And um, I'm glad he's get, he's making the best of his, his opportunity that he's put in. He just has to keep doing what he's doing and keep playing his role and not trying to do too much and just just stay stay where he's at. Mark Berman. Christian, if you could, uh, as, as you work through this, can you put where you're at right now in terms of if you're not 100 percent, where do you think you are right now? I know you said you're real close. How do you look at that from a percentage standpoint? Uh, I couldn't give you a percentage. Can you envision how you're going to feel when you finally get back out there? Uh, real good. More, I think um, my adrenaline is going to be rushing just because, you know, I haven't played in a while and having that feeling of being back on the court and just being uh, real eager to try and um, win the game. So uh, I, that's what I'm going to be worried about the most. Uh, I think that's going to kind of tire me out, but I, I should be good. We'll take two more. Jonathan Fagan. Thinking back to the first practice after the All-Star break, it, it seemed to be a real emotional boost for a lot of people to have you back and John practicing and so on. How much do you think, in addition to what you bring in terms of production or John or anyone else, Daniel House, this team, do you feel like it needs an, any kind of boost emotionally or in confidence just from seeing everybody back together again? Uh yeah, it's, it's a major confidence boost just from uh, being injured. And, you know, when you lose uh, a lot of games like that, it, it, it kind of takes a toll on you emotionally. But, um, you know, guys come to me. Um, I would say I, I'm one of the, you know, the team leaders that uh, guys can come to and just talk about things and, you know, what's not going right on the court or what's not going right off the court and what do we need to work on as a team. And that's why I've been able to do being an off, off the court leader. So. Um, we're good. I think we're going to be we're going to be a great team, and uh, everybody's starting to come come back. And when we have everybody back, we're going to be a tough team to, to handle. And just to follow up on that, since you mentioned being a team leader, uh, do you have a greater role with this sort of team in that there's so many guys who are now on a road similar to what you went through to get to where you are? Right, and that, also I think that that plays a big factor with why why guys come to me like um, KPJ came came back from the G League. And he told me, uh, I know your story. I heard, I heard about, you know, your up and downs, and how can I, how can I take this confidence going forward into the games? And he's been confident uh, tremendously, and he's been doing, doing great. And I feel like I've, I've kind of helped him out a little bit in that. Thank you. 
And last question, Brian Bearfield. Do you think that you have played a major role as far as helping the younger guys from the bench during the games? And I know that it's hard for you wanting to play, but also do you think that you've helped them out, you know, from what you see on the court? Uh, yeah, I think coach has given me um, that, put me in that position, actually, I should say, to, to lead younger guys and try to help um, younger guys. And uh, I think I've, I've been doing that, like I said before, the guys come to me when, they, when, when things aren't going right and when they need to talk to, or John, you know, John's a great uh, vocal leader. And I think uh, us two together, uh, we, we're gonna help this team out.